Hello, thank you for watching this video. My name is Atsushi. I am trying to share how to do sashiko in our way in this video. You might know my name from some of the emails if you have purchased something from Hita Sashiko. Um, unfortunately, when my father, who used to be CEO of the Hita Sashiko, passed away in 2013, my mother and I had to leave the company. So I put a distance from Sashiko and all of the activities. But my mother started on her own project in 2015, so she's doing it right now. And she started some workshop in Japan, in Japanese language. So I thought it would, it would be nice to share some of the Sashiko techniques we have in English as well. I hope you can learn something out of it. And, you know, obviously English is my second language, so if you have any questions regarding what I'm talking about right now, just leave the message, so I'll try to explain as much as I can. Thank you so much. So this is the needle and sashiko thimble you have to have. Well, you can get any kind of brand, but it has to be long enough to have several stitches. We, as a, my mom's, my mother's project, sashiko, sashi.co, we provide this set, three needles and one thimble, one thimble. And thimble is round palm thimble. You have to have it on the middle finger, facing down like that. It is very important to have it like there. It is very key point. I will use white thread. Uh, this is breached white number 12, I believe. And well, you can get it from us, from our website. It's four strings twisted. So it's, it's this thread for the sashiko. It is different from Hitasashiko thread, which I used to sell, but it is as good as it is. So uh, my, mo my mother's project and I always use this thread. Okay, I'm taking a little time here. Just a second. Well, I will introduce how to maintain or take care of Sashiko thread in different in another video. I hope. So after you thread the needle, like I do right now, that's been a long time. This is the picture of how to hold needle and thim how to hold this thim thimble. I'm sorry, how to hold the needle and the fabric with this thimble. You, you, all the right hand fingers, four fingers, should be behind the fabric instead of the top of the fabric, on the fabric. Only the thumb should be on the fabric. Everything else, sometimes the index finger can be on the top of the fabric, but these three fingers has to be back of the fabric. And you hold the fabric and threads, no, I'm sorry, fabric and needle simultaneously, and you move your fingers as I show there, and use the thimble to push the needle forward. And I am doing right now that the left hand on the thumbnail, you measure the, the size of stitches. You can control it by push back or push it in. It's like these movement you will see. Well, I'm not probably explaining well, so let's see that again. You can make uh, different kind of stitches by controlling the size of, like length of thread by left hand nail. Hold the needle and fabric together, push the needle's bottom with the thimble, and use the left thumb nail to measure the length of the stitch and just keep going like that. Keep going, keep going until, until, until you can. And don't forget to smooth 
Soup the fabric smooth. So this is the basic, basic, but very fundamental, essential way to do sashiko in our way. I will show you how to do the, how, how the back of the fabric is going, what, what, what is going on on the back of the fabric. Yes, I'm sorry for the, this is my first video, so I'm not doing a great job. So after you stitch the front, the needle goes to the back, of course. Then you use index finger nail to measure the length of the back side of the stitch. And comes back again to the front. Like that. And it's, it's, from here it's all the repetition, use your, oops, oops, all the fabric and needle together, use the thimble to push the bottom of the needle, measure the length using your thumbnail and the index fingers nail and keep it going like that well i'm trying to show how we can make a small stitches or big stitches by using the nail however the key point of the sashiko is to make the stitches as even as possible so if you started with the big stitch you might want to end with a big if you started with a small stitch you might you might want to end with a small stitch well of course it depends on the art piece you're working on so you can do like oops again i'm sorry or well, you can have as many as as many as many stitches as you can sometimes i do like 15 or 20 stitches at one time um if you were skilled you can do 30 or even 40 it's, if it's a single straight stitch, you can go as far as you can, as many stitches you can go. It's fast and it's efficient, I would say. So after a few stitches, let's say 10 or 15, you use thimble to push the needle to forward. To thread the fabric. Yep, it's not that great, but this is. This was the first lesson of how to do sashiko. I hope I explained well enough to give you some hint to start the sashiko in our way. You don't have to do this if you don't like it. But this is fundamental, and I believe this is the most efficient, productive, and fast way to do sashiko. If you're trying to do bigger, bigger piece of art, this might be very helpful in the big picture. And here's a little advertisement. We sell sashiko thread and needles, thimble. Of course, bag and jacket, which my mother makes. But also, uh, we are trying to sell all the sashiko supplies. Um, and also, we have really specialized in the natural herb dyed thread. My mother dyed the sashiko thread with natural vegetables, such as Western matters, um, or else, like Japanese nut gull, all the natural trees or vegetables you can find so if you're interested in those like natural colors uh, everything is available online some of them are coming up soon let me work on that and that's about it for this time i have a daughter to take care of so i can't upload as many videos as i want but i'll try to be consistent all right thank you so much